In this video, I'll show you step by step how to connect a Chromebook to a Canon selfie photo printer. Could be the CP1300 or the CP1500. So the first step is to go on your selfie printer and select the network menu. You can also press the network button on the CP1300. Go down, press OK. Now in this menu, we need to go down, down again until you see Wi-Fi it needs to be enabled. So click OK, select Enable and click OK. Then go up and press OK when you're on connection method. Here you have two choices. The best for the Chromebook is via Wi-Fi network. Then you need to go down to search for an access point and click OK when you're on it. It will search for all the Wi-Fi networks around the printer and you'll need to connect to the same network as your Chromebook. So here in this list, this is my home network. I just need to go down and click OK. Now I need to enter my password for the network. Uh, to do this, you need to press on the menu button and you will have to type it over here. When you're done typing, select Finish and press OK. And then press OK again. It will connect to this network. It could take a few seconds to even a minute, depending how far it is and how strong is the signal. At the end, you'll have this message connected to access point with the name of your Wi-Fi network. Perfect. Press OK. And now you just have to set this printer aside and go on your Chromebook. On the Chromebook, you're going to go on the lower right side over here. Click on this part of the bar. And then you're going to click on the gear icon right over there, this one. Then in this menu, you need to go down. You can also search printer, but I'll show you the longer way. And then click advanced, go down until you see printers, click on it. And here in this list, you should have the Canon selfie CP 1300 or 1500. Go ahead and click Setup. You'll have this message. And then the next step is to find the picture you want to print. So here in my files, I know that in download, I have a picture that I have downloaded and I want to print. So I'll click on it and you need to open the picture. Then in this screen, go over here on the right side where there is three dots and click Print. Then in destination, you need to select see more. And in this list, you should get the Canon selfie CP 1300 or 1500. Now, let me guide you through this menu under pages. Don't change anything. Copies is the number of times you want to print this picture here. I just want one, let's say layout. You can change between portrait and landscape, and this is very important. Just choose the one that fits um, your image the best. So in my case, definitely landscape is better. Then you have colors. Just choose if you want it to be in black and white or color. Click on more settings. And this is very important here, the paper size. If you're going to print on the original paper that came with the printer or on a 4x6 format like this, you need to select Hagaki postcard. This is how they call it. I know it's very confusing, but it's what it is. If you bought different size uh, uh, paper from Canon, you're going to select one of these. Usually on the box, it will say very clearly. Then you can skip the other options. You can click on scale and go custom if you want to play on how the image looks. In this case, I just chose a Google picture and it doesn't match really well the 4x6 format. So you can play a bit with the scale to make it match the most possible, but obviously the best will be to have a picture that is the same format as the paper you're going to print on. Then all it's left to do is to click on the print button. But before that, make sure that the paper tray is attached to uh, your Canon printer with paper inside. 
And then finally, you can print the picture by pressing the blue print button. It usually take about a minute from the time the computer sends the picture in the printer and the printer prints the picture. So this is it. I hope this video was useful. If so, please leave a like, a comment down below, check the links in the description to support this channel and I'll see you in the next one.